Um, what's up, guys? Y'all look crooked. Okay. Um, ignore my chewing. I went to so I got some gummy bears, so. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, as you can see from the title, this is, um, a review on the Claritin Inn Hotel in Miami. Um, if you haven't seen my Miami vlogs, I will leave them here. There are three of them, so look up here. It's going to be back to back, but I'm going to link all three so you guys can see it. If you haven't seen them already, which you should have, but anyways. Um, so if you don't know, me and Bay went to Miami for vacation, and um, we stayed at a new hotel that I've never been to there yet. Um, like I said, it's called Claritin Inn Hotel. So I'm just gonna give you guys like a review on the on our stay, pros and cons, and everything, just in case if you guys want to stay there, you will stay there because like I did a review on um a hotel that I stayed in Miami last time and let you guys know what I thought about it, which it was a review that uh or a bad review because the place was just a hot mess and it was a luxury hotel, so it should have been like top notch, but it wasn't. So, didn't want you guys to waste your money, so I'm going to tell you about this one. This one's a little bit different because it's not a luxury, a luxury hotel. It's like a regular hotel, so it's more so on the lower end side, I would say. It's nothing cheap, like, you know, dirty or anything, but it's just not a luxury hotel. So, it's more for people that are on a budget, I guess you were going to say, like, on a budget. Like, you want something nice, but you don't want, like, real fancy, so anyways so yes this is my review okay so like i didn't write anything down i'm just gonna talk about it as it pops up in my head like i said pros and cons so one pro was that i liked the hotel like it wasn't a bad hotel um i don't like i didn't like the outside of it like when we pulled up i was just like mm, bae, i don't know about this like i don't know how i'm gonna like it but when we got in there i like from the the lobby and everything was pretty nice like i liked it the room was nice um i did like we had to get two beds like if you seen like in the vlog that we had two beds and i explained like you know there wasn't anything else available which i mean that's not a big deal but they didn't have i guess enough available rooms um so we had to get like you know the double bed one so that was like aggravating so either we slept alone or if we went to sleep together we were just squished so both ways it was just like kind of aggravating or whatever but um yeah the um i forgot what i was say a big con though that neither of us like that neither of us didn't like yeah that neither of us didn't like um the parking there is horrible like their parking lot is way too small for like the size of the place like there was literally no parking like they literally probably had like i'm gonna say 20 20 we're gonna say like 20 25 okay that's 20 we're gonna say 25 30 25 30 parks and obviously if you guys are smart like if you think about it a hotel parking lot only having 25 or 30 parks and that's literally like they did not have any parking spots so you have to like get there quick like basically like you had to stay there like don't don't leave and think you're gonna come back and have a park basically like it was horrible like i did not like the parking like there was one time we had a park like on the grass and there was like a, and on the grass like it has like a sign it's like tollways on and all that so we had to go inside to the office and be like hey like there's no parking where do we park because there's a tollway sign here and we're not getting our car towed because y'all don't got parking so they had to like write us a note and they're like oh put in the you know like the window dash thingy or whatever um so like if they do come by they they'll know you're for our hotel and they won't tell you and all this so it was just that just was kind of aggravating like i feel like they should definitely upgrade their parking lot because that's a hot mess um so what else um <laughs> i don't even know the the ac like this isn't a bad thing either but the ac was so confusing to me like i was freezing cold in there like and we would turn up the air trying to like 
so it wouldn't be so cold but i don't know what like i don't know how their thing is work how that thing works but it wasn't moving like you would t you could turn it up or down or whatever but it was like the temperature in the room stayed the same like you know what i mean like so i'm like freezing cold and crap so i didn't like that and <laughs> like why their air wasn't working i don't know but that was um kind of annoying um, another product I was saying at the beginning though was I like the price, like the price point was a good price point and everything was pretty decent and nice. So I had like that a lot. Um, I don't, I can't think of anything else really. What I told you guys about, I told you guys about parking, the hotel itself. Um... I think that was literally, like, that's about it. Like, it wasn't nothing, it's nothing big. I just wanted to give you guys a review so you just know, like, what to expect at that hotel. And I'm going to write, I'll write it down, one of these sides, like, how to spell the hotel, Claritin Inn. Um, just in case you guys want to check it out if you're ever in Miami or whatever. If you need, like, a nice place to stay but you don't want to, like, spend too much. Because Miami's already expensive itself, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, overall, I do recommend the hotel. Um, it wasn't anything bad, like I said, other than basically the parking mostly that really annoyed me. So, um, I do give them a thumbs up for being a good hotel at a good reasonable price. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. So, Hope you liked this video. Hope it was helpful. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.